Frankie, everyone's delight. What did you think of his first up win? Uh, you can see in the straight, he just a little bit unlucky, blocked by the other horse. But when he get the uh, uh, room, he comes strongly. So it's very good last time. Is he a horse that in the mornings has always shown you a bit of ability, Frankie? In the morning, he's not really so too much. Uh, so that's why I trial him a few times. Uh, he trial good, but in the morning, it's not really, uh, I, can, I can say he's not really sharp. Just looking at the vet records on the Hong Kong Jockey Club website, he looks like he's had a, a couple of injury issues. What's he been like as a horse for you to train, Frankie? Yes, uh, before uh, the horse, when he arrived to Hong Kong, and then I, I gave him a first scallop. And uh, after he come back, he's a bit lame. So it need to take a lot of time to, 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 to let him uh, come back to the track. And uh, now it's good, everything okay. How's he been since that win last time? It's good, it's good form. Uh, I put a uh, uh, set on uh, Wednesday. He get up, he's, he's better form, uh, better than last time. So are you confident that he can win again on Saturday? I hope so. <laughs> I got a good, good show also this time. Looking at his breeding as well, he's out of a, a Zabil mare. I know he's at a sprint trip at the moment, but is he the type of horse that you think will get over longer distances in the future, Frankie? I think so because uh, uh, Seth also said later on, I think he can handle maybe 14, 16. And your stable's in terrific form. Uh, well done on your trip on Wednesday night, Frankie. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Everything's okay. And then my, my teams uh, all did a good job. Could you be a, a premiership contender this year, do you think, Frankie? Uh, still early. Uh, I only can say uh, if the horse uh, good form, healthy, I'll try my best. Paul Judy Star has had a couple of runs now. How is he going into Saturday? Yeah, he was in, uh, improved, you know, between his first and second run. He comes up with a nice draw. I think the 1400 is something that he's been looking for. So I'd expect him to be pretty competitive. Is he at his peak fitness-wise now? Did he just need those couple of runs to really get going? I think he's pretty close to it now. He took a, sort of took a few runs last season before he hit his straps, but uh, he's pretty close to it now. He won impressively towards the back end of last season. Is he a horse that you've always thought had above average ability? I always thought he'd cope with, uh, eventually cope with class three, so uh, we'll find out a little bit more on Saturday. How was his trial, in your opinion? His trial was very good, I thought. Very good. Lobo's legend, Paul, has his first run for your stable on Saturday. What's your opinion of this horse? Well, he's very fortunate to get him when he's just dropped down a class. It's always a nice time to get a horse. A um, little bit experimental, the 1,000 metres, but uh, I thought he showed enough gate speed in his trials that um, you know he could be closing very quickly the last wee bit. So. Um, you know, it can be a pretty tough thousand metres, it can be more like a 1400 sometimes. So, um, you know, if he can uh, keep in touch, you know, through the first half of the race, I think he'll finish it off well. He arrived here as a Group 1 winner from South Africa, but he's yet to win a race here in Hong Kong. What sort of ability has he shown you in the mornings and in his trials? Oh, I'd be happy the way he's gone, you know, as I say, I don't know too much about him. And as I say, good time to get him when they've dropped the class. So you go into Saturday with a bit of a, an open mind, I guess? Very much so. You know, it's a little bit experimental. I think when he won his Group 1 in South Africa, it was 1,800 metres. But um, you know, he's fresh and you know, his trials have indicated that um, hopefully he can foot it with him early. And with him as well too, uh, he missed a trial this prep due to being kicked by another horse. Was that an issue at all through the prep with him? No, no. no he got down the gate, he had another one kicked him. So, uh, um, yeah, Zach brought him back. I thought well, there was something wrong with him. I thought it a lameness issue, but uh, that was OK. He just but stiff and sore for a few days. Zach Lockheed, he's got a long run of out, a bit like yourself at the moment. Uh, can that end on the weekend? Oh, I hope so. He's had plenty of chances, but um, you know, he just can't seem to get it done, can he? He's loomed up on a number of occasions or travelled into it really well and just doesn't quite go through with it. So, you know, one day he'll win, but when that day's going to be, I don't know. Do you take some comfort, though, the last time at least he was beaten by a promising horse on the rise? Uh, no, not really, because he travelled into it like he was going to deliver a lot and um, and didn't give much at all, which was why he was able to get run down. How was his work since he's come back from Chung that you rode him in? He's always a good worker. Yeah, right from the first day he's come here, he's, he's an exceptionally good worker. He could work with anything. But, um, you know, it's that last little bit when you want an effort, you can't quite give it to you. And I mentioned that run of outs, I say that in jest, but in all seriousness, does a run like that bother you or is that just part of the sport? Uh, it's just the way the ball bounces sometimes, so it'll bounce my way again soon. Mighty giant, Zach, that looked a tough win last time out first up from him. Yeah, it was. Um, he's, he's done everything right in his time here in Hong Kong. He, you know, he's, he's well named, he's a very big horse and he's got a big long action. He likes to get out there and roll along and 
It was a tough effort last time. It was first up, so, you know, you've got to question how much it took out of him and whether he's going to be flat for this run, but Ricky's happy with him. Um, and, you know, there's, there's nothing to suggest that he's not going to run well. You mentioned Ricky. He said recently that he feels he's ready for group races. Do you share that same opinion of the horse? Well, he, he continues to, to do things that some horses can't. You know, he, he gets up there on fast speeds and keeps rolling along and he continues to raise the bar every time he gets out there. And I'm v very light on for horses at the top end at the moment. So hopefully he can take that step and fill a bit of a hole. What opinion do you have of Skyfield? He's obviously a very talented horse. His turn of foot's exceptional. We know he, he likes to over race a little bit in his runs and, and that's got probably going to bring him undone from time to time, but you can't knock the horse. He's done very well. You're drawn 10. Would it be the plan to roll forward like you have in the past with him? Yeah, that's his racing style, so we'll use that as, uh, you know, like we always do and just let him do his thing.